Hey folks, how you going? Josh Sawino from ZSQ here. New addition of the family, GMG, Danny Boom Prime. How good's that? Just wanted to go through a couple of things. I've been looking to get one of these for a while, and there's a couple of major reasons that I wanted to go through. So the first one is, I don't have much time. I'm very time poor. Now, I really, really love cooking, as I'm sure you all know. And being able to hit a button, turn a cooker on, put some meat on, do what I gotta do, come back, have smoked meat, that's the dream for me. So, obviously we are affiliated with Smartfire. In terms of your uh, egg smokers, anything you can control with a blower device, fantastic. This is a bit of a step up for me. Smoker. So I went for this smoker over some of the other models available, primarily because I believe it is insanely well built. So, little story, we bought two of these for the team, so one of my other teammates, Shane, has the uh, bigger brother of this one with the stainless lid, and we didn't have a means of transporting them back to Brisbane. So, what we had to end up doing was uh, wheeling at approximately 800 metres to the promoter of the event's house. Thank you very much for that, Greg. Um, and we had to store it in his garage overnight until we could get back down in the morning. So, this 800 metres, was not a nice trip. <laughs> it wasn't smooth bitumen the whole way. And needless to say, I would not be confident doing that on any other model. <laughs> Anything in this kind of price point, this range, I wouldn't be confident that it'd make it in one piece. And nothing is wrong with it. All the um, all the casters are fine, the wheels are fine. That's awesome. That I, I just couldn't believe, like, yeah, that's just a, a major winner for me. Now, another major point, a lot of people consider these things to be cheating. Now, I don't disagree. If you're a, a stick lover, you love to play with fire, sure, then this isn't going to be the thing for you. I do love playing with fire, I just don't have the time to a lot of the time, so this is why I've ended up on this. There's definitely a home for my offset in terms of home cooking, but 99% of the food that I'm going to be doing at home for me and my wife, me, even when I have a few people over, is going to be done on this thing. I'm going to be doing all of my comp practice on this. It, it just takes one element out of the equation, and I can concentrate on what's going to matter more. That is the flavors that I'm working on, the sources, the texture that I'm trying to achieve, all those things. Okay, so I'm still going to be using my offset. I love, I love my radar hill. It's not going anywhere. So in terms of doing either catering, competition stuff, I don't believe there is anything that can substitute for an offset in terms of practicality. I can load that thing up. I can cater for 200 plus heads in one sitting. Now, that that's just amazing to me. Okay, so guys, another full disclaimer here. I went into this video not knowing what was going to happen. I thought I'm, re I'm re I thought I'm relatively tech savvy. We'll just see what happens if I just hit the on button, go for it. Needless to say, things didn't exactly go to plan. So, turns out, don't try and update your grill whilst cooking. <laughs> I managed to make an error. Now, this is totally my fault, not a fault of the grill. Uh, since then, I've had a look at uh, some of the short YouTube videos. There's a great two minute video on hooking up the app, hooking it up to the grill. I've managed to get it hooked up to my Wi-Fi network. The server mode's working, so I can turn it on from remotely if I really want, get it going remotely, do everything you can do with this, I believe can be done remotely. Now I'm gonna get back to you in about a month or two after I've cooked on this a whole lot more, and I'm gonna give you some of the pros and cons of cooking on this versus my offset versus my dragon versus all the other barbecues that I have. Anyways, let's get on with the show. Hey, you going folks? Josh Sawina from ZQ here. Today we're going to be doing something slightly different. I um, was recently very fortunate to uh, have picked up a brand new GMG, Danny Boone. Should be more specific. It's been used once to win a uh, first place in brisket by uh, Dan Barrett and the one and only Sterling Smith from uh, the United States of America. So, alright. Today what we're going to do, we're going to go through the boot up process, go through everything we can um, in terms of the GMG. We'll have a look at setting it up on a phone. And then, basically, we'll just cook some lamb backstrap. Easy as that. Alright, let's go. 
So to start, what we're going to do is I'm just going to inject my back strap while I get get the smoker going, work out what's doing, because I haven't actually used this thing before, so we're going to be learning on the fly together. All right, so got my badass lamb tech injection. It's what we always use to uh, keep our lamb nice and juicy. Backstrap. Not my first choice of where to go for backstrap, but in a jam, use your man, man stirrer. Yeah. Right. I'm very lazy, so that's excellent. So this is a new GMG Prime, um, the Danny Boone series, I'll stand over here so the camera knows this. <laughs> Alright, so long story short, you have your hopper, pellets go in there, there's an auger which feeds into a fire here, so the unit will actually control the temperature of this automatically once we set it, once it's headed up, so here we go, turn that power on. Okay, so let's boot up. So from everything I've read, it'll say zero, one, then two I believe, goes through its startup cycle. Once it's done that, it'll show you a temperature. That'll initially be your ambient temperature, and then that will slowly climb as the fire increases. I can already hear that fan's going, the auger's working. Maybe not the auger's working, but I can hear a fan going. Plenty of attachments for these guys. Not going to use them today, but over there I have some uh, racks, which will sit on top of this. Which will enable us to cook more meat. Plenty of real estate there. You can get on, just right there, I'm sure you could fit two, two medium-sized briskets or a big brisket and a Boston butt say, so more than enough room, with it, even without those racks, to cook for 20 people, easy, probably even 40 people. So, I'm really looking forward to using this unit. Right, so because this is a Wi-Fi unit, hopefully we're gonna be able to plug these probes in, boot up the app, sync that all up, and we'll be able to tell it. There we go, there's a pen. There we go, all right. So I'm going to plug this probe in. I that this hole here is designed for the probe to go through. Good. Awesome. So, from everything I've gathered, once food's going, you press that and it'll show us that temperature of that second probe. Um, otherwise, it'll just show you the uh, temperature inside the kit. Now, I, I got this one, guys, because GMG is an awesome brand. They have awesome customer support. Um, I love seeing, I love this. So being able to know how many pellets are in your hopper, that was a big one for me. I'd hate to run out mid cook and just, yeah, that would be any good. So, yeah. All right, there we go, she's working. See that 65 degrees, 66? Unreal. So that fire will be going in there and it should be heating up slowly. Perfect. Alright, so what we're going to do now guys, we're going to download the GMG app and you and me together we're going to go through setting up the app. Alright. Alright guys, so I've just googled the uh, GMG apps in the Play Store. I'm on Android here. Gonna hit open. T's and C's, I've read them carefully. Work it out. All right, I better have a read of this one. All right, so Wi-Fi connect to grill, power on or off the grill. So I believe this is cloud-based once you've set it all up. So you can do that away from home. All right, timer. Yowie. Okay. I will most definitely read that later for the sake of this video. Get straight into it. Alright, 
Let's hit that connect button and just see how we go. All right, guys, I've just put that password in. Look at that. Straight away, we hit it. It's working. Beautiful. All right, so that fuel temp, we can go in and set that. Today, I think we'll keep it simple. Go for 275. Oh, you can just hear that thing working, can't you? Beautiful. So, what I'm looking at here, guys, we were able to set up profiles so that the meat that we're cooking can cook in a certain manner. So, what I mean by that is we can chuck it in, get it going, hit a certain temperature, either ramp or reduce that temperature, automatically work out when it's done, and then it'll bring that temperature down and hold it for you if you like. Yeah, lots of potential there. Probably not the best idea what I just did guys. Wife will not be happy if I don't get dinner cooked on time. Sorcery, order over a hundred bucks, free shipping. Get on it. Alright, thanks for listening.